All right, and I had a lot of fun in the field, but I'm back in the garage. I got a couple things I want to show y'all about the GMC Cyclone. Right here, you got to watch those rotors. They got them backwards. I had to get them switched around. And as you can see, I already got the front suspension put together. It's just a couple more things like this, but so far so good. This is an outstanding build. I'm really enjoying this Cyclone truck. And as you can tell, I've slowed the build down just a little bit because um, I really want to enjoy it. I'm back in high school with this one. If you don't know, I built this truck between my junior and senior year. There was a lot of things that went down in that summer. Now you have to read this one book that I wrote called Reporter from Hill. You know it's a chapter in there called Summer of Satan. And that book is loosely based off my life. And that's when I built this truck. But the funny thing is, after I got to building this truck, I realized that that summer was not that bad. A lot of great things happened that summer. And one of those great things is building this Cyclone truck. Now that rear end suspension was very easy to install. And as you can see, I did some pre-assembly on this part as well. Got a couple shocks to add in here. And there's the completion of the all-wheel drive system, along with that incredible suspension. And a shout out to Sparky's Model Savage. I learned this trick right here from him, watching his channel. I'm going to put the link in the description box to the exact video that I watched and got this technique. But it's really cool. You can use this with Chrome. I decided to use it with the white gel pen to fill in those dials. If you got raised letters that you need to go ahead and get painted, this technique right here you can't miss. Those white dials look incredible. Now I'm adding that orange dial to it. That's spot on right there. OEM. And I believe this is some type of indicator lights when I saw in the reference picture. So I painted that red. I went ahead and broke out the door clear to put some glass over these gauges. Let that dry. Did the car trick again. See the white letters. Dirt clear turned out great. Crystal clear as always.
dance turned out great. Got to clean up some flash in here. Now, I thought I had some real nostalgia with other kits that I built. You know, especially the one I built for my dad, his van. But this right here, this was my car, my truck. I don't care if it was the scale, but it was my GMC Cyclone. And it's like I'm right back again in that little room in East Nashville. Building it all over again. And it feels great. Box stock. Again with this build. So no flocking. Now the glass was a little tricky on this truck. It just didn't want to fit right. I finally got the back glass in all the way. Using that Mod Podge. Cleaned it up. But that windshield, I finally figured out what the problem was. It's a little warped. And it's nothing that a little masking tape can't handle. Also got that battery looking outstanding. That's this red paint. It comes pre-wired. Taking care of a couple reservoir tanks. Putting the rest of that fan together and the radiator. That's a metallic brass paint I'm using right here. You got four slots to put that interior in. Very simple. Just a tad bit of warping right here. Had to hold it down for a minute. But that extreme power super glue locked it right in. Same thing right here. These inserts, you definitely want to put some glue in. Yeah, this is beating the one I built in high school. And I also cut the end clips that go on the back of this bed when it hooks into the cab. That leaves you room to do some adjustments. Now this is the last big fix hopefully I have to do on this hood. It is a little warped. So I got that tape holding it down overnight. Took it off. It definitely improved it. Back on track. 